Hi, I'm Rocco, and welcome to Read Out Loud. I'm here with Patrick McDonald, and Patrick's going to read his new book, Tech, the Modern Cave Boy. And I'm going to do the sound effects. Fantastic. Tech, the Modern Cave Boy. Once upon a time, way, way back, a long time ago, or maybe yesterday, there lived a little cave boy named Tech. Tech was pretty much your typical troglodyte child. Yes, you did have a beard, but everything was kind of hairy back then. Ugh. All cave boys lived in caves, of course. But the problem with this cave boy was that he never wanted to leave his, even when friends came to visit. Hi, Tech. Ugh. In the evening, an eerie glow came from Tech's cave, making it impossible to see the twinkling stars above. Beep, boop, bop. Tech stayed alone in his cave room, glued to his phone, his tablet, and his game box, all day, all night, all the time. Boop, beep, bop. You should have never invented the internet, Tech's mom grunted to Tech's dad. Beep, bop, beep. Outside, the real world was evolving, but Tech couldn't have cared less. Bip, beep, bug. Tech missed out on all the winter fun during the Ice Age. Boop, bop, beep. He never even learned his dinosaur names, identifying them as a whatchamacallit saurus, a who's that saurus, or a flying I don't give a dactyl. The hours, days, and months were slipping by. Beep, boop, bop, beep, beep, bop, boop, bop, beep, bop. My brain may be the size of a walnut, but even I know that is not a healthy situation, said his best friend Larry. I wish Tech would come out and play. Beep, boop, bop, thump, thump, thump. Sigh. Tech's parents tried everything to pry him away from his gadgets, but Tech wouldn't budge. I need to light a fire under that boy's butt, grumbled Tech's dad. Except I haven't invented fire yet. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Boop, boop, bop. No one could get Tech's attention. Not even the tribe's grand poopa in his high muckety mucks nor Darla O'Duddy and her dinosaurs for a better tomorrow. All seemed lost until... Beep, boop, bop, ugh. Big Papa, the village volcano, had an idea. He could make fire. He could shake things up big time. So Big Papa... Beep, boop, bop, popped. Ugh. 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 And I see we're running out of uh, yeah, battery life up here. <laughs> the eruption shot Tech and his phone, tablet, and game box out of his cave and into the sky. Tech crashed. He was totally disconnected. Tech awoke, breathing in the sweet, fresh air, basking in the warm sun, and tickled by the cool grass. He wondered where he was. He looked around and discovered a dragonfly, a tiger lily, a ginkgo tree, a hairy elephant, the hairy people, an awesome, awesome saurus. The big, beautiful world, sweet. Tech left his gadgets behind and ran to find his good friend, Larry. On his way, he kissed his dad and mom. Ugh, groaned his dad. I need to invent shaving cream. <laughs> Tech hopped onto a wheel, plucked a fresh apple, and whistled to a dodo bird. <whistles> Low Tech. And surprised his sleeping friend. Beep. Tech and Larry laughed and played all day in that sunny garden.
And in the evening, they reached for the glorious stars. And that's the end of Tech, the Modern Cave Boy. A good reason to disconnect. <laughs> There's always a good reason to disconnect. <laughs>